Good afternoon. Welcome to Cityscape Qatar. Um, this year event differs in several different ways. Um, firstly, the time that we've had to actually put the event together. Uh, normally we leave at least 12 months between Cityscape Qatar's. But due to the very exciting times that Qatar's going through and soon to be hosting the World Cup, um, we've had to bring Cityscape periods much shorter. So this year, it's only taken us seven months to deliver the show this year. So the focus um, uh, on the request of the Prime Minister, who's the patron for Cityscope Qatar, was to bring a lot more international exhibitors to participate at the show. So this year, in comparison to previous years, we would normally see 70% local and 30% international. This year we've reversed that. So we've got 70% international exhibitors and 30% on a local basis. Qatar has amazing ambitions and opportunities for driving inbound investment. A lot of countries focus in different areas and a large part of this country and Qatar's ambition focuses around economic diversification. Economic diversification moves away from the petrochemical and the reliance on fossil fuels as we've seen even with uh, Qatar Petroleum changing its name to Qatar Energy. Part of that is about driving inbound investment into the country trying to focus it from uh, bringing in new businesses from a commercial perspective. The country has got a hundred new hotels being launched, so that tourism aspect. And also from a residential sort of side, we're seeing huge uh, demand here for plots, villa plots at the moment, something in the region of nearly 52% increase, um, who from investors who are looking to invest directly in, in sustaining and building a home where they can actually live bring up families and actually work in the local environment. Where Cityscape comes in is to actually put a focus and an emphasis on the real estate market to give you as a home buyer, you as a private investor or an institutional investor to find opportunities which gives that transparency in the market by talking to government and the, the developers themselves to understand where those longer term ambitions really sit. As we mentioned before, transparency is one of the mean words. It's really understanding if you buy a villa, if you buy a property, you want to understand what the surrounding communities may look like. What does that look like from a tourism perspective? What does it look like if you're bringing up children and where are the new schools? Where are the health facilities? So what Cityscape does is it gives you that holistic perspective of the real estate industry what the vision and the leaders of the country are looking to produce, what the vision of the leaders of the country are looking to, to give the citizens and the residents of the country. So adding on to what we were talking about, that transparency, um, one of the areas that the country is very focused on is smart cities and technology and how technology will really support homeowners, what impact that's going to have to you and I living in our own homes how technology will allow us to, to give better interaction with government entities, how technology will support us on lowering our utility bills, how it will support us in transport and, and general living and cost of living. Well, first of all, I'm sure I can say on behalf of everybody, how exciting is it that we're hosting the World Cup here? It's absolutely fantastic news. And I want to wish Qatar the best of luck and congratulations on this opportunity. The World Cup will really put a spotlight. Uh, it's the most watched, it's the most uh, visited, uh, and anticipated, highly anticipated event in the world. So what it's going to do is put a huge spotlight on Qatar. And that will be used to drive tourism, that will be used to drive uh, investment, that will be used to drive uh, commercial entities to consider moving their businesses over to this amazing country. What again Cityscape is here to do is just help you support that. Uh, our role is never to sell real estate, but it's to put a spotlight on real estate, is to give all of your readers, your visitors, um, and the property portal um, um, that you are itself to actually bring all of that community together under one umbrella. In 23, um, we're really excited about next year because I think what we're, we see is after the impact of the World Cup, we start to see a real focus back on 
the next generation, the vision of Qatar really coming into play. All focus and, and direction at the moment is around the World Cup, making sure we can actually deliver one of the best World Cups that's ever existed, making sure that we've got the infrastructure and support, and all the countries really, really focused on delivering that at this stage. 2023 will get back to a little bit of normality, but it will still support the longer term visions of Qatar around their very, very ambitious increase on the population, um, their increase on diversification of the real estate sectors, be them again from the direct villas or going into commercial uh, formats. But one of the key areas that the government are very keen to develop at the moment is about bringing blue chip organizations and establish themselves in Doha so they can really bring together that longer term uh, uh, vision and plan. Well, firstly, I'd like to thank you because you've been amazing partners for the last four years. As our property uh, portal partner, um, you've supported us, you've allowed us to work very closely with you to have the opportunity to talk to your community, to have the opportunity to show what Cityscape reflects in the real estate market and hopefully add a little bit of content to your readers and to your listeners.